Hey guys, my name is Avery and welcome back to Timeless Share. Today we're going to be in Romans chapter 14 and we're going to be in the passage, The Law of Love. Now I'm only going to read verses 16 through 18, but this, I encourage you to read the rest. Uh, this basically covers the main idea, but it's good to read the small details too. So I'm going to start in chapter, I mean verse 16. Therefore, do not let your good be slandered. For the kingdom of God is not eating and drinking, but righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. Whoever serves Christ in this way is acceptable to God and receives human approval. Now, it starts off in verse 16 by saying, do not let your good be slandered. Now, what does this mean, you might ask? I mean, how can good be slandered? So, as Christians, you know, we try to live our best life for Christ. We try to do the right things. We try to give all the glory to God in everything we do. But, you know, other Christians might not be as strong in their faith as we might be. So, we find ourselves judging them and maybe that maybe that silently judging them or ju judging them out loud. I know I've thought several times to myself, well, how come they get to do this and I can't, I'm not doing that, so that makes me a better Christian. Uh, that's not right at all. That's not the right attitude to have. It is God's place to judge our fellow brothers and sisters. It is not our place at all. Just as, you know, as you were a little kid, you might get in trouble for hitting your brother or sister if they did something wrong. You know, I did it before. I'm not even going to lie. I would hit my little brother and say, well, they hit me first. That is not the right attitude we should have. And our parents would be like, well, that's not right. You shouldn't do that. It's my job to punish them. Just as God says, it's my job to judge your brothers and sisters in Christ for their sins. And for not following his word all the way through. So there's no point in our love towards one another if we try to tear each other down in Christ. Now, verse 17 says, For the kingdom of God is not eating and drinking, but righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. Now, this is saying that Jesus should be our main priority. God provides our needs for us. We don't need to worry about food, water, or that, that shouldn't be our top priority. I know that sounds crazy, but God provides all this stuff for us already. So why wouldn't God be our main priority? So we must count on him the most in order for our survival and for the best lives we can live. Um, verse 18 says, whoever serves, in Christ, whoever serves Christ in this way is acceptable to God and receives human approval. Serving with a righteous heart and with peace, joy, that is the way to go. Serving with love and loving one another, that is what Jesus finds acceptable in his sight. We should only feel accepted by Jesus. It shouldn't matter what anyone else thinks about us, what the world thinks about us. God is the only one that we should be finding acceptance from. And I know this is hard to do. It's hard to not worry about what others think about us but in the end it's only what god thinks about us and what god thinks is the best for us so thank you all for listening today um if you like this video make sure to like it and subscribe to timeless share um, i enjoyed this time with all of you and i wish you the best